The action has been non-stop at ProMX and we caught up with Honda Australia Factory Racing Team Director Yuriv Konsky for a behind the scenes exclusive tour of their race weekend setup. I'm with Honda Australia Team Principal Yuriv Konsky. Yuriv, we are at your Pro MX headquarters for every round. It's a juggernaut. Tell us what goes into the logistics of setting something like this up. First of all, we need people, and we've got a great number of team members that come every weekend. Unlike other forms of motorsport, we don't transfer everything into a garage. Some people don't see that. Everything takes place inside the truck and under the awning. So this literally is our place of business every weekend from corporate hospitality to engine maintenance, suspension servicing, a place for the riders to be able to sit back and prepare between each race. So there's a lot going on and when you've got a four and six rider team, when the women are involved, uh, you certainly need room for them. And how do you go about designing this setup? Do you draw inspiration from overseas? How is it different to the other factory teams that we see rocking up at Primex? In the US, the trucks are designed quite different because they're only allowed one motorcycle a weekend. They bring spare frames, spare motors, so they literally have to build a bike out of bits if they have a problem. So the upstairs area, which I'll show you later on, has room for 12 motorcycles. The downstairs area is built so we can work inside there, but we can carry a lot of equipment. Literally, it is a workshop away from workshops. We've got the 250 here and the 450. Um, tell us what the difference, what the fundamental differences are. Obviously, there's horsepower, but what else is really different uh, between the two 450? Oh. So, overall, the primary difference when you talk to a rider is sheer horsepower, torque, so how much bang you get when you go to accelerate, and a little bit of weight. And when you de-accelerate on a 450 to a 250, the weight and the torque, it changes the characteristics of how the bike will handle. So what is the difference between a privateer's race bike and one of your race bikes? The big difference between the two is the time we get to spend building the bike for the rider. And all riders are unique. So that's the luxury factory teams have, is that we have a full-time crew that go out with the riders daily and constantly work on improving the motorcycle or collecting data to help make it consistent. All right, let's go in and take a look inside. Cool. It's the first time you'll ever be taller than me. Pretty clean in here. Very clean. I mean, the boys are very meticulous. Yep. It's important that we don't make any mistakes. We don't leave anything to chance. So we'll change a sprocket generally at the end of every week, but we have service intervals in place on when we want to change a piston, a sprocket, how long we want to leave a chain on for, when we're going to do the bearings on the motorcycle. Everything on the motorcycle has a time limit. If we go up here, these... Oh, boom. Lunch is ready. Triana's been making lunch. Emma's eating lunch. It's good. This is where the, this is where the bonding happens. Up here is where we put up all the motorcycles and we have all of the other equipment, the quite bulky equipment. We also bring the awning, it's in its own place. We also bring up um, the tyres, the, the wheels, our pit trolleys that we take down. Each rider, can't look through these. Kate. Come on, I can see this is Webster's. Yeah, helmets. Oh, there's sus things in there. Something unique about our truck is the uh, upstairs viewing area. So, I, I built this for the simple reason, if you come up here, Kate, you literally can see the whole track. Yeah, it's amazing. And it gives us a great vantage point to look down and film from. Uh, there's certainly a lot of flags here, but we try and film from up here and uh, we'll give the riders the opportunity to watch post-practice and hopefully we can pick things up that can help them be better prepared for race one. So, Yuriv, you've been a team manager, team owner, team principal for over 20 years with Honda. What's one of those moments or times in your career that really stands out to you? 2008, getting Honda's approval to, to take over and run their factory program. Uh, I feel honoured. It's definitely a, a real honour I don't take for granted. And everything post that opportunity being given to me, it's Christmas every day. Can you bring home another championship this year. Your riders are at such a high standard. What is possible? 
yeah, definitely between the motocross and supercross championship. Uh, we're gunning, gunning for nothing less than a championship in every discipline. I mean, if we weren't, we shouldn't be coming to the track.